$40,000 is a lot of dough, yo. Are you what not Chris again? Do it again. I don't want to do it again. Do it again. $40,000 is a lot of dough, yo. Make sure you check out my whatnot. My name's Whatnot Chris. I sell all my sh and you're gonna buy it for a lot of money because you're a chump. Wow, you went a bit harder than I expected. Oh, I'm hard as a rock. What does that mean? So in today's program, we're gonna talk about VV. Again! Because we have so many friends in VV now. Yeah, we have a lot of new pals. They're all on Twitter. I don't really know how to get a hold of them besides Twitter. As a matter of fact, a couple of them wanted us to like DM them on Twitter, but I didn't even know you could DM on Twitter. I only know how to email, fax. I do text. I have an Android and I text on it. And Telegram. Telegram? Yeah, you just send it over a telegram to all your boys. You don't send the telegram to all your boys. Yeah, you do. What are you sending them in your telegram? What are you just saying? What's up? I don't like it. It's so stupid. <laughs> telegram? Come on. No, I don't, I don't like that. Be okay, you can be one, not Chris. I'm going to be telegram Heather. Oh, I can't take it. It's it's the worst part of the video. It's the worst part of Gasogast ever. I mean, I've always been I'm the so worst part of Gasogast. I'm so embarrassed. So the VV crowd has flocked to us, and they love us, and I think they have crowned us the king and queen of VV. It just yeah. happened that way. I don't know what we did, but... But it happened because we talked about the Funko Iron Man gold figure that f***ing sucks. But for some reason, it's tied in with VV. And people want that VV digital collectible. Yes, they do. Which is an NFT, but they don't want you to think that. So if you're around a VV person, do not say NFT. You're going to cause some f***ing troubles. So it's like an NFT, but it isn't an NFT, but it is because there's blockchain, but it's not because I, I don't know. I still don't understand it. Like we've gotten so many comments saying it is NFTs and it isn't NFTs. And I am just like stupid. I'm too stupid. Oh my God. We are so for stupid. For my little bitty brain to understand all of that. Well, we will understand this because we speak the monies. Listen to this. This comes from David Yu. He posts this on Twitter. You're most likely at this channel because you are a Funko collector. If you're one of the VV people, hey, what's up? But Funko collectors know who Mike Becker is. He's one of the founders of Funko. Well, David Yu is like the Mike Becker of VV. David Yu looks like he's gotten a little bit more sleep than Mike. <laughs> Oh my God. Mike Becker, if you're watching this video, I apologize for my wife being a piece of shit. We love you, Mike, but you need like a week's worth of sleep. By the way, we're gonna talk about trash kitties from 100% Soft in a minute. Stick around. BB people, listen. We know you're into the digital collectibles, but these trash kitties are awesome. All right, so David Yu says, dear hashtag VV fam, and hashtag Funko family. I'm and hashtag Gasocast because even David, you he didn't do us. that. He didn't do that. He does not have a clue who we are. He's gonna know soon. Watch the VV people appoint him here. He'll know. He'll know. I'm on the hunt for the very first edition of the Marvel Vinyl Gold 18-inch Iron Man. I'm willing to pay USD 15,000 for it. If you happen to have number one mint in the gold and black variant, one in 50 in existence, I'm prepared to offer USD $40,000. Wow. Holy sh That's a little bit more than I paid for my car. Not much because those Camrys are expensive. In the photo it says wanted with reward. It's like a wanted poster. How crazy would it be if that's the one that we got? Like we hate gold. We're gonna become friends with David Yu so fast and they're gonna invite us to the next VV party in New York. This year they didn't invite us although although all the VV people fell in love with us. We weren't invited to the party. Wow. What the f Yeah what the f I think if we would have said, hey, like, can we come? They'd be like, okay. Am I not pretty enough for you? Is that what it is? That probably is. Is it because I'm not smart enough? Most likely. Is it because I got big teeth? Definitely. Is that the reason why? I mean, just come out and tell me, VV people. And David, you. Just come on. Is that why I wasn't invited to the party? Is it because Heather has large teeth? No. I'm sure it has something to do with her ridiculous oversized teeth that she has a very hard time keeping contained behind that set of lips. It's a battle every day. And right now she's fighting them back. I see them sticking out. Oh, there they are. They came out. See, she couldn't fight anymore. You're there so they are. annoying. Or 
is it because she wears those big oversized old lady glasses? Does it have something to do with that? Or is it because Heather never bathes? She stinks like trash you know what? and it's gross. Okay. So David Yu is willing to pay the $15,000 for the Marvel Vinyl Gold 18 inch Iron Man. That's the first edition. And he's willing to pay 40,000 for a minted gold and black variant which is a 1 in 50 in existence exclusive. Okay, question. For real, like what if we actually got this? That's and some what, crazy Hold on. Can you hold it hostage and ask him like for 60,000? Do you think it would be a cash transaction or would it be like a weird VV transaction like on the blockchain? Reading this, he doesn't specify that. Would we get a check? You're not paying us in NFTs, are you? Here's another question. Like how did the taxes and stuff work on stuff like that? I can't go down the street and buy a cheesesteak with an NFT. It's just not gonna, it's not gonna work. I do like a good cheesesteak. I love cheesesteak. Yeah, they're good. Can we have cheesesteaks for dinner? Lather it up with the whiz. It's going in my mouth. I love it. Ew, I don't like cheese whiz. I'm not getting cheesesteaks with you because you don't know what the f*** you're doing. You can get whatever you want you on your cheesesteak. You are out of control with your cheesesteak. Cheese whiz or no whiz, Heather. Yeah, no, no whiz. So what do you think of this? I mean, this is pretty interesting, right? Here's the thing. I don't think the actual collectibles come numbered, like the physical ones. I think it's just the digital. So you get the mint number one on those particular ones. Whoa, first edition of the Marvel Vinyl Gold 18 inch Iron Man. So there must be a first edition of it. There must be something in that box that tells you it's the very first one. Maybe, I see, I don't and know. he's willing to pay 15 grand. I don't know enough about the fidgetals. That's physical and digital. Oh, come on. Listen, hey, Heather, I'm speaking your language, aren't I? Holy sh But if somebody gets that one mint of the gold and black variant, one in 50 in existence, $40,000. Can you imagine handing over an NFT for $40,000? Well, I mean, I know there are people that were selling them for millions. We're not totally on board with the whole NFT thing yet, but we do buy the Funko NFTs and no Funko NFT that has come out yet has a value like that. I mean, $40,000 is a lot of money. That's because with Funko, they've drawn in mostly just Funko collectors and Funko collectors want a physical piece. That's the draw for the Funko NFTs, whereas VV collectors are into the digital stuff so they are like all in but i gotta have that physical piece associated which is why i'm excited to see vv team up with funko and do this iron man thing but golds are you crazy golds that's what we're doing i remember walking into stores like the regular golds are about this big right mm -hmm. then they had i think they were like the 12 inch golds mm -hmm. nobody bought those. Oh, show me the 18 inches with them hands. Go ahead. Um, I think that's oh, like yeah. this big. Oh, oh yeah. I can imagine. That's going to be sitting right here on this table here soon. And if we're lucky enough, we'll be getting $40,000. Yeah, I don't think we're getting $40,000. What would you buy with $40,000 if you had it? I'd invest it. i put it in my retirement fund because I started a retirement fund late. Swimming pool? Hmm? I'm filling it with cheese balls because who doesn't want a swimming pool full of cheese balls? I'm jumping in and I'm going to be eating them. And I'm also going to need a tarp to go over top because if the rain comes in, you got to make sure that those cheese balls are protected. I don't want anything, not even the elements, to f*** with my cheese balls. You realize they're going to go stale, right? I'm jumping in nude. So I'm also going to have cheese balls. You're right, they would go stale. How Would it be fast, do you think? Uh, well, yeah. How many days I got? Like a day, maybe. A day? Maybe two. You think? That yeah. quick? I don't know. I don't think I've eaten that much cheese balls in a day's time. I mean, I don't think I've eaten a swimming pool's worth of cheese balls in my entire life, and I've eaten a lot of cheese balls. It's pretty close for me. You know, I feel like these VV people are just so nice, okay? Let me just Why put that out keep, there. Hold on. Why do we keep calling them VV people? What am I calling them? They're going to stop being nice if we keep referring to the them. The VV like, community. Is that yeah, good? that's much better. Okay. The VV peeps. You like that? No. The VV crowd. Disgusting. The VV collectors. There you go. The VVs, the VVs are so nice because I've seen in action. Yeah, they all are the really Funko nice. collectors hate us. Yeah. The VVs came in and they fell in love with us. Well, that's only because they haven't seen enough of us. You see, that is where people find us annoying is when they watch us and watch us and watch us and then they realize that we're just too idiots. Remember when you found our video and you watched it and enjoyed it? Remember when you found out we were the Gasocast? Remember when you watched three of our videos and then you Hey, us. They're gonna start calling us cringe. You know, one person already did. 
A Vivir? So I don't know if they called us cringe or they just said that we're stupid. I forget. I mean, both were used to hearing. It's a VV version? They found us on a VV thread oh, on no. Twitter, AKA X. They're already starting to turn on us. It's only a matter of time. They're gonna start hating us like the Funko collectors. The VVs are so nice that I feel like they would just give it to David Yu. Well, I hope that David Yu can get his hands on this stuff because he is the CEO after all. He deserves it, right? Is he the CEO or the founder or both? He's everything. I've gotten like a couple answers from Google. He's captured my heart. And if he's around me in person, he's also going to catch my fart. You don't really fart in public. Like, I'm always oh, the do. one doing the fart. And I do, a lot. And then I, do a I lot. blame you. I do a lot. You just don't know, because they're not loud. They're just spicy. My favorite thing to do is a real big one and say, Ew, Chris, why would you do that? You're so funny. <laughs> I am. Okay, so now it's time to open our 100% soft trash kitties. I am so excited for this. We got two cases when they went live. And then we got this guy too. This is a little jack-o'-lantern. How cool is this? He is awesome. It doesn't come with batteries. Get out of here. Yeah, you have to get a battery. What? What does it take? S some weird fucking shaped battery. Well, the good news is I have a pumpkin hat. What do you think? Looks good. Oh no, I just broke the button. Are you serious? What oh, do you mean you oh, broke oh, it? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm not with this anymore. Okay, so this is the little pumpkin guy. So you and need three of them and they're LR44 batteries. What the f***? What planet do you gotta get those from? Uranus. This is insanity 100% soft. I love you and all, but for real? Um, there's like Halloween trash everywhere. I love that. Like, look, there's like cat trash because they eat fish. That's fantastic. There's jack-o'-lanterns there that looks like alcohol. Was that a cat's buttocks? That's an owl with pizza. And the pizza's smiling. There's a kitty cat oh inside goodness. a jack-o'-lantern. And a haunted house. Yes, but look at the jack-o'-lantern. He looks very concerned because that cat is very fat and squishing all of his pumpkin inside. What's it, what's it on the back? It has a newspaper. So the newspaper says, we're all just future ghosts. Act accordingly. The daily trash. I like that. That's great. That's so much fun. And if you get one, those are the batteries that you have to get. They're three LR44 batteries. I, I know what they are. They're the little round batteries that you put in like, you put in things that are annoying. Okay, let's keep going. What else do we have? Where's the trash can? Oh no, I put them too far on the floor. I got a wheel over. So there they are, the Trash Kitties Series 1. Look My at that. favorite thing is that the cats actually have little buttholes. It's very cat-like. Because they're always putting their buttholes like everywhere. So the, there must be a cat where he's sitting inside of a pumpkin. I was just asking my friends like where I can find all the trash kitties. So they're on the back. Okay, there's a ton of different variants. You can find them on the back of the box. So there's a cat throwing up in a trash can. Well, out of a trash can. He, The cat's in the trash can. He's throwing up outside of the trash can. Then there's the fat cat in the jack-o'-lantern. Then the rat guys on skulls. Then there's a cat in a cauldron, sticking his butthole up. Ooh. Then there's a ghost cat on some tires. There's a devil cat next to a like flaming barrel. A, a cat eating a pumpkin with a crow on top. There's a mummy cat. There's a dumpster cat. And then it looks like there's maybe three rare ones. There's yeah. one called Stitches, one called Pumpkin Glow in the Dark, and then one called Shiny. So these boxes are really cool actually. They look like little tiny trash cans. They even have like a top on them. These are fun. I got the chonk. Oh, these are adorable. Aren't they fun? These are so much fun. I got the mummy kitty. Me too. Oh, we got the matching mummy kitties. And it's a mummy because it's wrapped up in toilet paper with a little smiley face on it. So these are spooky trash kitties. Yeah, they've made a bunch of different waves of like trash kitties. I really like these. I love the, uh, oh, that's another ghost. But I love like Halloween horror aesthetics, so these are really fun. I love how everything has a smiley face. Me too. Here's the cauldron butthole. Oh my God. It's a kitty cat in the dumpster. It's a dumpster made of like cardboard and look, he's like in it. So I got skulls with the little rats on it They're eating pizzas. So fun. Do any of these glow in the dark? Is there like a special one that yes, glows? Yes, the ghost and these guys glow. Oh really, they all glow? Yeah, I was wondering because the ghost has like a, a different colored white on it. Like a translucent. Yeah, sort of translucent. I got the chonky one. I got another cauldron with the smiley face on it. The rat guys. I got another trash can dude like you have. Do you know what his name is? What? Dumps. Oh, I got the devil kitty. Ooh, that's a different one. 
Now there's the fire glow. I don't think so. Oh, there's the cat throwing up. Oh my God, that looks gross. So there he is, throwing up. Blah. Throwing up all of his grossness. And look, the there's little trash can is it. smiling. Is it candy corn? Oh my God, it is candy corn. Oh, how dare you 100% soft. I love candy corn. I got the throwing up one. Are we gonna get a rare in here or what? I don't think so. I think we're getting all duplicates. Up. Oh, another little devil kitty guy. Here's the crow one. Oh, that's great. That's probably what you got. So we didn't get any rare ones, but I will love these. Yeah, these are fantastic. The ones that we got, did we get any that were like singles? No. We got the same exact thing twice. Yes. I wonder how rare the rare ones are. So there they all are together. They're fun, they're interesting, they're different. So there's the two glowing ones. They don't glow very long or very bright, but they look awesome. And I particularly like the rats with the skulls. That might be my favorite one. Wow, what a lineup of little trash kitties, little Halloween trash kitties. They're awesome. We'd like to know what you guys think. And guess what? We're gonna be giving away some of our doubles during our next Patreon call, which is in October. It takes place on October the 28th. And we're gonna have a blast there. Make sure you don't miss out on that if you're a patron at levels two, three, and four. We're gonna have a giveaway specifically set up for a costume contest. I already got my costume lined up. I think you guys are really gonna dig it. It's pretty fun. So what do you think about all of these? What do you think about 100% soft not putting batteries in this? Yeah, come on! Unbelievable. Honestly, though, I think it has to do with shipping and stuff. It does, you're it does, it does. You're not supposed to put, like, batteries No hate. I'm whatever. just making a joke. But we want to know what you think about all this and more in the comment section down below. And also, the whole David Yu situation. What would you do with David Yu's $40,000? And do you think someone's going to claim it? Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Past Tense 82, David Newman, John McCormick, DOE710, Douglas Hunt, Foster NW, Taylor Bain, Snaps by Reyes, Anita Atkinson, Antonina, and Chris Grist. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content, and you don't want to miss out on that. We go live every Sunday between 7 and 8 p.m., and we also post a new video every single day of the week. And you don't want to miss the fun content. We always have something entertaining right here on the channel.